Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Q3 of the weekly contest 224, largest matrix, largest sub matrix of a re rearrangement. Uh, I found this one really hard. It might have been the hardest one for me. Um, I think it's just because, I don't know, I just had issues with it and I found Q4 a little bit easier. But yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, and this problem uh, was pretty tricky. Uh, do I, a thousand people got it, so maybe not that tricky. But, um, but yeah, the key observation for this problem is that, okay, you just, um, going from top to bottom, you look at each slice and then, you know, looking backwards, kind of just see how far each one extends. And once you do that, um, and that's kind of the idea of that behind the algorithm is that, you know, for each, and, and with a little bit of help from maybe you could call it dynamic programming, uh, for each point, you can count what's the longest, um, you know, from here going back, how many ones are there uh, going up in that row, right? Um, and once you kind of uh, have that uh, result, then you can just go through it one by one. You could sort or you could do a, uh, a sorting or I did a counting sort um, and that will allow you to get the answer. Um, and let me demonstrate a little bit by pulling out the paint, paintbrush, right? Let, give me a second. Let me set this up. Technology is hard. Um, okay, wow, that actually worked without me saying anyway. So basically, for example, if you have, you know, your your matrix is, you know, zero, zero, one, one, one. Okay, maybe. Hmm, let me add a, a one, zero, one, one, zero, one. Then, then you know, at this point, the longest length going up would be zero. Uh, here will be one. Here it'll be zero again. Oops, that's an ugly zero. Uh, this is one. This is two. Uh, this is zero, and this is one. Right. So that's basically you know go, filling it out from top to bottom. Um, and then now you do it for each each column, right? So each column is going to look like something like that. You have zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, zero. I don't know. I'm just making numbers up. Um, two, zero, one, two, three, right? Uh, maybe I should have used a different color, but it's a little bit late for this one. But, okay. And then now you have these uh, really ugly looking numbers. Um, you know, we just do it. Uh, yeah, yellow is not a great color either. But, uh, but basically, you just look at it each row at a time here. Well, there's zero, so th th it doesn't matter. Nothing happens, right? And then we just kind of look at it one row at a time. That means they're... Um, now here we could see that the three ones, so that means that the the longest is going to be um, three times one, which is the area of three. Here you see that there are two twos, and that means that you know that there are at least two um, two columns that has two width. So that means that um, you know you want to multiply by that area is going to be four. So then now you keep track that way. And that's basically the idea uh, of how we do it. Uh, for example, here is one and three. That means that, you know, and you could, what I did was that, um, and you could, I'll show you in the code in a second, that I go from higher number to the lower number. So then in this case, uh, you know, we have one row of uh, size of at least three. So it's kind of like similar problems that you might have practiced with respect to kind of getting this. But, um, but yeah, you, you have, you know, at least one column of, uh, of, length three, and then you have at least two columns of length one. So you take the max of those and of course of the previous previous answers. So that's how you do it. Here you have uh, one column of, uh, a le of length two and two columns of at least length one, right? And that's basically the idea and skipping ahead here, you have one column of length three, two columns of length two, and three columns of length one. So that's basically uh, how we kind of go through it. And as you kind of, you know, uh, look at the complexity, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, hmm, let me get rid of this for a second. Do, 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 okay. So basically, that's the idea behind this problem. Um, I actually did some unnecessary stuff, so um, I might clean this up. Uh, actually, I should. Uh, though I might this code might be wrong now because I'm gonna clean it up. But, but basically, yeah, we get the. Um, 
mm, from the previous row, right? If matrix of x, y is greater than zero. So this is just, you know, regular dynamic programming um, of, you know, like we said, if this, if this number is uh, greater than zero, um, then we add it to the previous row um, to get the longest uh, running sequence, right? And then here, um, for each column, no, for each row, we check each column, right? Of um, for each row, we check each column of each count. We put it in a hash table uh, to make it uh, simpler. Uh, though you can you could probably you can actually sort this and it will still work. Uh, there are definitely a lot of solutions for that. But uh, but basically, um, yeah, I um, I keep it in a hash table and then I look at the keys in reverse order. So I do a, do a sorting here, um, and for each I. You know, this is the running sum. Basically, this is the number of uh, previous columns that have at least y, uh, that has at least y height or higher, right? Um, so, so this is a pre uh, prefix sum counting from the high number to the lower number. Um, so once we do that, then the L this is the number of um, number of columns that have at least y sum, uh, y length height. So this is the height. This is the width. Uh, which is the number of columns, and that's the uh, a possible candidate for the area, and that's basically, the, and then we just max it over all these columns, and that's pretty much the idea behind this problem. Uh, what is the complexity, right? Well, this is going to be uh, linear in terms of the space because it's just uh, rows times columns. Uh, this is a little bit trickier. This is going to be rows times um, columns log columns, right? Because for each row. We we sort all the columns, which is y log y. Um, oh, sorry, which is columns log columns. So yeah. So given that um, r is equal to rows, c is equal to columns, the total complexity is going to be o of r times c log c, right? Um, because we have r rows, you know, the outer loop, and then each loop does c log c time because it gets dominated by this sorting and that's pretty much it um and the space is you know it's going to be dominated by this uh, hash table which at worst it's going to have one entry per um per matrix element so it's going to be linear in terms of the size of the input which is rows times columns uh that's all i have for this problem I struggled a lot during the contest, so feel free to fast forward, but you could watch me solve it live and come into it uh, slowly. Um, I really was stuck on this problem for a while. I just have no idea. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, and I will see you later.
Really? Hmm. I have no idea. Let's take a look. No one's gone it yet, so let's come back.
I don't know that I know this one. This is some weird greedy. Really have no idea. Do you combine them? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go, go, skip ahead again. These Q threes have been hard, but no one's got down Q four yet either. So. so this is probably hard as well.
a lot of states though. Mm, let's go back to this one. People have gotten this one, but I don't know it. Almost quick summit by accident, but No, Sony doesn't have a kind of example. How do you even do that? <clears throat> works huh Then right here. Why did I delete that? Yeah, that's what I should have done. Okay.
Just DP. means that And I'm mixing my rows and columns. It's not good.
Oof. Oh, wait, did I misread this one? Because that's an input. That's that. Uh, I'm, I've rushed it. I said to slow down, be careful, but instead I added five minutes for no reason. Okay. I even knew to to check for it now let's time limited why Is that? Oh, because it's row square. Hmm. That's silly. Um, okay, so because this could be sparse, that's why. Uh, okay, fine. mistakes uh thanks for watching everybody uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord and ask me questions about this problem or other problems uh have a good year and all that stuff and i will see you next problem bye bye